Only one behind Stephen Hendry's record. But in the opposite corner, Neil Robinson is capable of stopping him. After all, he came from 3-1 down to play superbly to beat Judd Trump 6-4 in the semi-finals. Thank you, and the first frame. Neil Robertson. And only three weeks ago, he won his 15th ranking title, the Welsh Open in Cardiff. If O'Sullivan wins, he will climb from third to second in the rankings, which would be some feat considering that he's played a fairly limited schedule. Pink is preventing Robertson sneaking away to Borg. <coughs> Interesting little opening exchange of this. Both players almost it's like a little puzzle. This you don't want to leave. An opportunity, we're only trying to stay tight to that red. And leave the opportunity to give your opponent the advantage. Which Neil has given to Ronnie as Stephen said these first yep. four frames are massively important for both players Got the second part of the shot, screwing the cue ball back into the ball. The pack's still pretty tightly bunched. Shouldn't leave anything from this one cushion escape. great venue this it was introduced to the circuit in 1978 by Mike Watterson the great promoter of the late 70s and early 80s who sadly died yesterday at the age of 76 
Mike was the architect of the modern circuit. He's known principally for having taken the World Championship to the Crucible in 1977. He started the UK Championship later that year and in 1978 brought it here to Preston. He promoted several other tournaments and laid the basic structure of the modern circuit. on the board trail but didn't have a viable what? safety alternative knew that he was going into other reds With no certainty the position on the color but by potting the single red he, rem Sullivan, what? he remains in early control of this opening frame Actually, that long red, it looked like as if Ronnie had to just bend the cue ball to get the pot and angle on it. That was very impressive indeed early on. Safety in the bulk leaves a potential three ball plant there, doesn't it? So that's why Ronnie's having a look at it. Yeah, he doesn't like it. Shifting the red, the first of those three. Well, if there's any kind of plant, it's not as straightforward as it was before O'Sullivan moved the top red with his last safety. considering a speculative attempt at a three ball plant here I think but primarily just trying to get the cue ball in the corners they go in cushion first oh what a shot <laughs> decided to go full bore One. beautifully worked out this wasn't it so what sort of dividend is it going to pay Brown looks the ball that he's going to maybe cannon here. Oh, oh. straight in. Lee Robertson one, Ronnie O'Sullivan five. I think he was looking to get side cushion, bulk cushion, and in between yellow brown, wasn't he? But hasn't left an easy starter though. Yeah, the middle one of that. Well, Collection of reds there. But they don't have to be easy. 
Joe Sullivan, even from distance. One. At the age of 43, his long potting is better than ever. He won five ranking events last season, but still enlisted the help of Steve Feeney of Sightright, who helped Mark Williams to the world title last May. O'Sullivan is always looking <coughs> the factor which would Three. enable him to make some incremental improvement. I love the way Ronnie O'Sullivan approaches these big finals and big matches. I think early on he's a wee bit more careful, as you're seeing here. As the match develops, he's obviously trying to build a lead, and as it goes on, he'll just up the pace, just, just gradually. Ten. See, being super careful here. O'Sullivan normally is a very good 16. starter. Seven. He's good at getting himself mentally ready for a match. Twenty-three. In fact, He's had an early lead in all three matches that he's played earlier this week. Twenty-four. Had to hold off late recoveries to beat John Higgins. And in the opening round, Barry Hawkins, both 6-4. But last evening, Mark Allen never got going against him. So Sullivan dispatched him 6-0. 29. Spin round the corner then. Yeah, he doesn't want to play it left-handed, but just a bit forced to. That's a tough shot with your proper hand. Top side of blue. But having got that red, he just freed up the other two. Now this should be fine for Sullivan. Almost playing this, this like he's playing for a pink into the right corner. Played it Five. to the inch. Thirty six. He 
did this against Mark Allen last night early on. He just 41. underscrewed a couple of shots. That one last red was the same thing. Let's see if he goes a bit deeper here. Just give this a bit more arm. Yeah. <laughs> 42. He's got it this time. stop learning at this game, even the greats. Forty seven. Forty eight. So it looks apparent where goes breathed. O'Sullivan is going to clinch the opening frame at this visit. Fifty-three. This red will secure the frame. Sullivan's concentration is switched on full beam. 59. 60. From his first clear cut chance, he's won the opening frame. No hint of rushing. Gave himself plenty 66. of time to work out a couple of shot sequences as the break proceeded. 67. I didn't expect him to miss that, but seven. with that break of 67, Ronald Sullivan leads Neil Robertson by a frame to nil.